story time. This video is gonna be so long. Enjoy it. Grab some snacks while I tell you how to smell like a snack. I'm always sharing with you all how to do your hair and how to do your well, I don't really share with you how to do your makeup, but just beauty and all of that. But today I definitely want to do something a little bit different. Since I'm showing you how to look like a snack, I want to show you all how to smell like a snack too, okay? Not even a snack, a whole entree. Like this stash that I got right here that I'm about to tell you, I can't believe I'm revealing my stash. My secret top 10 that just held me like, mm, who was that that just walked by? A skirm, a skirm. So this video, guys, is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is basically a service where you get to try new fragrances every month. You know, basically smell like a new person every 30 days. They're only $15, guys. So if you've ever like went out and purchased perfumes or cologne, then you know that they usually cost more than $15. With Scentbird, you actually get to get a new fragrance each month for $15. Books. If I'm just trying a fragrance, I can just get a sample, right? I can go into Sephora for a sample, right? But the little samples are like a smidget of a size, right? So these ones, YouTubers are like these ones. These ones that you get from Scentbird are actually more a larger trial size than actually those little small ones that you get. 120 to 140 sprays, so this is gonna last you a much longer amount of time. So the three that I do have, with the link in my description box down below, you all can get 30% off and your first First month signing up with Simber will only be 10 bucks instead of the 15 so definitely check that out so y'all can be smelling like a snack Valentine's Day is coming up they don't only have fragrances for women they also have fragrances for men as well the top brands like Prada Gucci Tom Ford as well as indie labels like Glossier, Nest, Toka, name it probably on Simber check there before you go and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on larger bottles of perfume fragrances colognes this allows you to kind of test it out make sure that you for sure for sure like it you basically just twist it open and you can slide it out like that on the outside it only says scent bird New York so by opening it like this you're able to see which fragrance you have and the first one that I have is Cartier it's like a mature type of scent they do have Cartier for men as well you and Bay can get matching scents because I know some guys do watch me you all can check out scent bird if you at the grocery store and you don't even know Bay went to the grocery store but he got on his Cartier and you got on Cartier and you over on aisle three you're gonna be like that's bae over there with the cartier <laughs> also this one is mature type of scent the next scent that i do have here from scent bird is versace this is the bright crystal absolute so another mature type of scent i shouldn't be wasting them in the air let's put them on hmm. certain fragrances are for certain events the same way you do your makeup a certain way if you're going to a certain place or you do your hair a certain way or you wear a certain outfit. I feel like it's the same thing with fragrances. Like I'm not going to put on a mature type of scent if I'm just going bowling. You're going to have a different scent for bowling, for going to the movies, to dinner with Bay, some sort of social event where you're going to be hugging a lot of people or just hugging one person. Like those are different scents, you know. The next one that I do have here by Scent Bird as well. I know y'all like, oh, here she go again, but I mean, words from our sponsors. The next one that I do have here is Prada Candy. Now, you know how you get those little samples? It's like the little sheets and you open it up and it's like the little scratch and sniff kind. That was the very first time that I smelled Prada Candy and I was just like, and it made me go, hmm. It was so sweet. <sighs> It's perfect. It's yummy. It smells amazing. When I was actually scrolling on Scentbird's website, because I did a little looking on the site before I actually decided that I wanted to work with them and all of that, and when I saw that they had product candy, I was like, yeah, I want that. I could have easily gone to Sephora, obviously, to get like the sample size, but it would have ran out too fast. I got 120 to 140 sprays with this one. This scent, I would definitely wear this if I'm going on a date, dinner, and a movie. Special occasions. If he pulling you up to McDonald's, he you don't get Prada candy. Like, I'm gonna put something on, but I'm not spraying my Prada candy for you. Listen, this is it right here. This is definitely, you probably shouldn't rub it like that. My little sister told me something about when you rub them together, you ruin the thing. So, Prada candy is definitely it. I did pull out kind of like a variety. The type of scents that I do like, I feel that everyone does like different scents. I'm more of a sweet scent type of girl. I like to smell like, not the chocolate, but the sweet candies in the candy store mm, sweet and like oh girl come here <laughs> yummy i like warmer soft mm, type of scents i don't know what that means mm, if it makes you go mm, chances are you'll say yeah that's one of the scents destiny was talking about burberry brit y'all can see 
see I love my Burberry Brit. I'm almost out. I'm trying not to spray this one so much. Like y'all know I can't explain things well at all. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna type in my fragrance. I'm gonna admit it to you. Some YouTubers not admit this. They be out here sounding like they not explain all of their scents. I'm Googling mine and I'm gonna tell you what it says as well as attempt to explain it myself okay the fragrance note this one is more like a smooth fragrance yeah i do notice the uh vanilla and amber in this one tonka bean like tonka truck that's what it says the base for this one is vanilla amber heart almond and peony lemongrass pear lime let's not go with what that says that's what ulta says we're not gonna go with ulta to me <laughs> so this is something that i will wear if i'm going to church on sunday some sort of formal event if i'm pulling up to red lobster more of my more sophisticated classier type of events if you will long lasting as well it also matters how you apply your fragrances give y'all a lot of tea in this video i'm spilling it all so key points for me before i continue with my top 10 where i like to apply my fragrances specifically to last all night on my wrist both of my wrists and the crease of my arm so both creases of my arm will take a dab behind this ear here sometimes i may just dab it underneath my neck just a little bit i don't want to get it directly on my clothes i may put it on my finger and i dab it right here in the center of my chest and just kind of make sure it's there really good but if it's the summertime if i'm wearing jeans and things i may not i also like to apply my fragrance directly to the back portion where the leg bends like moving portions for me are kind of like pulse blood 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 pulse points like i feel like it releases the scent in a sense we're basically covering from head to toe 360. we smell like a snack year round all around <laughs> if i miss some spots where you apply your fragrances leave that down below i'm spilling tea so spill some tea back okay let me know what's good another mature scent i know y'all like she said she likes sweet but she's showing mature scents but Different occasions call for different things. Forgot to mention, by the way, I can't remember if I said it or not because I say so much. This was a gift. My little brother got this for me for, I think, Christmas about two years ago. And I'm just now beginning to run out of it, so I definitely spray it less and less. I didn't have as many, so that's why it's kind of going faster than the others. The more that you get, the less they run out. But if it's still your favorite, you tend to reach for it more. The next one here that I have is Burberry Touch for Women. I do like the packaging on this one as well. Wooden um, type of bottle along the top, nice and open so you can see how much is in here. I don't spray this one as much because it's a really, really mature type of scent more so for like i hate to give the wrong type of example that sounds shady the level of matureness that this scent has is something my mom would wear or see what i mean sounds shady that's not what i meant hey sweet pea y'all get what i mean like what i mean when i say a mature type of scent i would actually wear this one to the movie theater though like can we go somewhere else besides the movies where else do y'all want to go <sighs> if you smell this on someone it brings back the memories that you like I remember like certain things that bring back certain memories. That's what this scent is like. Actually, we're gonna scratch the internet thing to say peony and it smells like a sensual smell. I don't wanna do all of that. I wanna tell you all how I feel about the scent. But this one for me, it definitely is like one of those scents that makes you think of certain memories that you have with a person. Where else can we go besides the movies? Hey, Jay Alexander, Ruth Chris. Actually, I put this one on sometimes when I go to the gym. It's one of the strongest scents that I do own, so I would want to reach for more of my sweet scents for the gym. The way it's gonna like, you know, stick with your girl while I'm on the treadmill and I'm on the salad. And next up, top 10. My 10 for the win. I should have done 19, huh? But man, this is Viva La Juicy. This fragrance for one is really special to me because one of my subscribers gifted this to me a while ago. I think maybe two years ago and it's actually still lasting me because I do like the size of it. I take this one with me whenever I travel somewhere. So if you've ever watched any of my travel vlogs when I've gone to St. Louis or Minnesota, my graduation vacation, all of that, this would be the scent that I would have in my bag. I don't want to pack too many things. And if I want to stuff it in my purse because I'm usually the last one getting ready, I can hurry up and finish my finishing touches, finish my finishing touches in the car. I'm mixing all of my scents at this point, but it's all good. Oh, it's on my nose. <laughs> I always talk about people that put things right up to their nose and smell it on YouTube and I'm doing the same thing. In chemistry class, we used to have to sign saying we wouldn't smell chemicals, so I guess they kind of stuck with me. Yeah, I can't smell anything now. I need like the coffee thing. I would say that this one is as sweet as part of candy, but it's definitely, oh, I hate when I can't explain stuff. Don't come for me. I know I couldn't explain. I already know this. On the front end, I can't smell anything at this point, guys. I'm so sorry, but I can't explain because I can't smell nothing. <laughs> Not the fragrance.
fragrance in particular. I'm saying I've smelled and I've sprayed. We're on fragrance number six. Well, at this point, I can't smell a thing. Just know it's in my top 10 for a reason. You can kind of get all ages with this one um, as far as my younger viewers that are watching. I would say this can kind of go both ways. So if you're 50, I think you would like this or if you're even just 27 like me. I think you would like uh, Viva La Juicy. It's definitely a well-rounded type of scent in my top 10 for sure. I'm putting y'all up on game with this next one. Let me let you know. Out of everything that I have right here, this is what I reach for. Y'all gonna be shocked. This is not your average YouTuber fragrance type of video. It ain't like super bougie. Give it to us, Destiny, please. <laughs> this is Pink Sugar. If you all follow me on Instagram a while ago when I posted about a fragrance and I told you all I found this new fragrance and I just could not tell you all exactly what it is. I just couldn't tell everybody because I was like, you can't get my fragrance. So if you're watching this video, this is that fragrance. There is an actual Pink Sugar. Um, I did see it, as a matter of fact, on Scentbird's website and I considered getting that one, but I wanted to try ones that I don't have, which is why I went for the other three that I did mention. But this is Pink Sugar. I actually get this from my beauty supply store. Y'all probably seen little roller balls like this. This girl, mm -mm -mm. this makes you smell yummy, delicious. Oh, so luscious and oh, so good. Like, you can wear this to the movies, you can wear this bowling, you can wear this out to dinner. Wear this everywhere, okay? <laughs> everywhere you go. Pink sugar, it's amazing. That's all I can say. Okay, edit that out, definitely. That's too much for you to edit that out. Edit that out. But yeah, this is in my purse with me. I can actually explain this one. This smells like sugar cookies. One time we were in Kroger. I get to the point sometimes where if I want to freshen up my scent, but really I don't even need to. In my mind, I feel like once you put it on, you can't smell it on you. But for some reason, other people, when you whiff past them, you leave it with you. That's what you want to do. You, you want to leave it. Like we got the hair looking cute. We got the makeup looking cute. But when you walk past, Baby turn his head just as soon as I pass on. <laughs> that's what you want to do. And Pink Sugar is definitely that. We were in Kroger once. And uh, that's what I was telling you all story time. This video is going to be so long. Enjoy it. Grab some snacks while I tell you how to smell like a snack. So yeah, and I had put this on. My mama, she was, we were checking out. And the cashier was so nonchalant about the entire thing. My mom was like, it smell like cookies. Good. Somebody smell like cookies. And so I'm like, I don't smell cookies, but I think you smelling me like sugar cookie right here, baby. <laughs> that's me. Like, that's all me. Give me my props. That's your girl, okay? Pink sugar is a must have. It's got the little sensor tag and everything on it. I spilled my secret. Enjoy. And I wanted to include two of my favorites from Bath and Body Works. So I do have another one here to share with you all. I don't feel like everyone is a perfume type of girl. It took me a while to start wearing like perfume, perfume. Sometimes I reach for my body sprays as well. Like it's a time and place for everything. Basically, you don't pull out the same scents for all occasions. And this is Endless Weekend. This is from Bath and Body Works and Bath Body Works. Actually, I do put this on on the weekends. Like something about the name just makes me feel like this is what I should reach for on a Saturday morning sometimes. So this is a fine fragrance mist. And the scent on this one, I can't really explain any of the scents. I truly apologize. A little bit more should help me. Mm, yep. See, it just reminds me of my Saturday mornings. It gives me that memory of Saturdays when you get up and you shower, you get out of the shower, you put on your matching lotion, use the matching body wash, and then you just. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Actually, I spray this on before, probably TMI, not TMI. I'm helping you with fragrances. I actually spray this on after my lotion, but before I get dressed, and because it's a mist, so I just let it kind of just last down on me if you will but because it is a fine fragrance mist if I put it on at 9 in the morning I will reach for it again before I step out of the house if I'm going somewhere else and Saturdays are busy so before you step out again around 5 I want to grab for this again and it's fine for you to go ahead and spray this right over your clothes as well fragrance number 10 number 9 we got one more this one amongst the ones that I do have from Bath and Body Works this is Amber Blush I feel like if you're going to have two from Bath and Body Works I recommend Endless Weekend and Amber Blush. Leave some of your favorites down below. Oh, this is one of the first scents that I actually bought from. I'm just wasting. Listen, this room is gonna smell so good. My sister Bone is spending the night over her in Lincoln. It's gonna smell good in here. <laughs> Can't explain yet again. But pulling it up on the computer thing was kind of blah. I have all the names down below if you do want to read about that versus me saying it. It's a warm type of scent. This definitely will fall in my category of my sweet scent. As far as this being a mature type of scent, yeah. I can see my mom spraying this on. Last but definitely not least, like I said, I did just gather up these 10. I didn't put them in any top 10 type of category from 10 to one, just showing 10. This is Rare Diamonds. This was also a gift from my sister Dominique. Don't remember which occasion it was, but she got me this one. These are the most mature two that I own. Burberry Touch 
and then rare diamond so you all can see i haven't sprayed this one that much but when i do put it on it definitely lasts a long time this is also something i would put on a sunday morning it can kind of almost lean a little bit towards you know how older ladies smell not like that oh she smell like a grandma smell but like a that classy jazzy older lady she keep it together her hair look on point she know how to do her makeup and you're like who taught that older lady how to do makeup? like this this kind of reminds me of that grown and sexy if you will type of scent if i'm going to a casual type of environment this wouldn't really be something that i reach for it definitely has its place to make it into my top 10 fragrances okay so we have completed the video i ha we have completed i've completed the video <laughs> <laughs> with destiny so that is pretty much all 10 of my top fragrances destiny's top fragrances to smell like a snack snatch you a bay on aisle three like i said i will have the link in my description box down below if you all want to check out simber you can definitely get 30 percent off which will make your first month on simber only ten dollars again special thank you to simber for sponsoring this video i hope you all enjoyed this different type of content on my channel let me know what i should do my top 10 of next if this is something that you all are interested in I know this video is probably already long. I can predict it before I even begin editing. If I forgot anything, I will definitely either have it in my description box down below or on the screen. Uh, let's do something fun. If you're still watching, comment down below and let me know what your go-to favorite scent is. Like your top scent of all time. Comment that down below. That way I can kind of up my stash and have like a top 30 or something. Questions or comments, be sure to leave all that down below. Click over here on one of the cards to check out more videos on my channel. And click over here on my cute little face to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye. And that's just how I'm living. Money and freedom, women.